inside these barrels and they're sealed and you pop this thing out and then you just like suck them down it is so delicious oh man forget taking pictures let's just enjoy the pastry You're in a new place. What are you supposed to take photos of? Exactly, it happens to all of us. In my case, I look at the people. I try to get a sense and a feel for what the place is like. And in this case, it was all about the canals and the traditional boats. But even then, how do you photograph something in a real interesting way and that moment that captures everything? Can't shoot photos if you have a video camera in your hand. These guys all wearing the suits with the uh, capes. They're university students, part of a musical group. Wish I could have used my camera, but in this case, it's either one or the other. The little side streets is where the action is. There's always cool stuff to buy, more to eat. And there's just a lot of history in this. Like, even this tile, I mean, this is pretty darn cool. But anyway, it's always cool to walk because at the end of every alleyway, it opens up into something. And I bet you it has food and coffee at the end of this one. And I am right. There's always something interesting in every old church in Portugal. And in this case, it was just sensory overload with so much gold leaf. The key is always to wait. Wait for the visitors to be just in awe of what it is that they see in front of them. All the photos in this video were also shot with a Fujifilm X-Pro1 rangefinder, a great little camera that lets you be tourists but also take good photos while you're doing it. Okay, when I saw this guy playing his accordion, there was only one thing on my mind. I'm photographing him. You see how I get down at his level? You don't want to be looking down. You want the buildings in the back. You want to capture the entire scene. And you know something? Have as much fun as he is playing his accordion, and you'll take great pictures. Like I said, this is known as the Venice of Portugal. As you can see, some traditional boats uh, making their way up the canal here. And from, these boats were used many years ago uh, for algae and, and seaweed. So they would collect the stuff and then bring it to the fields as a fertilizer. And this particular bridge here, um, I saw the sign and it's called the Bows of Friendship. So that's what this is all about. Yeah, these little, these little things are like what makes it totally special. And that over there is the form of Aveiro, which is like a shopping center. And there's always cool shots to be made, but like in a situation like this, I mean, there's a lot of foreground elements and background elements. 
and the idea is to put that in a context that tells a multi you know story a multi-layered story so in this case by putting the ribbons in the foreground and then the boats in the background you're telling a far greater story so yeah there's a lot to explore um, let's keep going You gotta have a good time, but you also have to let things work for you. Make sure that every square centimeter in the photograph tells part of the story, the position of the ladies relative to the buildings in the back, or these guys relative to the mural. Everything matters. Every square centimeter in a photograph should be thought out. The symmetry, the dynamics. If you do that, you'll end up with a couple of decent shots. But, did I mention, enjoy yourself?